This was the perfect window to ask her, Alex, what is sex? Well, she was four years older than I was. It's amazing what kids can learn. And it is the most fascinating subject, one we keep pretending shouldn't be taught. We keep pretending if the kids don't know about it, the world will be a safe place. But we know that's not true. Instead, it's a breeding ground for pedophilia, rapists, abusive relationships, and self-hate. I propose the opposite. I propose teach kids to be aware young. It's a part of life. And think of the changes we would see. Children would be able to recognize predators and protect themselves. That's how you take away a predator's power. You see them for what they are. Girls would understand just how early they become desirable. Lord knows that I was being catcalled by men by 12. We can embrace the importance of protected sex. It would be respected and lead to greater respect of our bodies. The very same bodies that are sending out our own signals with or without our help. Sex could be recognized as the sacred pleasure and energy exchange that it is. But at the moment, <laughs> we have to start the conversation because I'm tired. I'm tired of the bullshit excuses of why we shouldn't learn. Every day we're pretending that we're not thinking about sex or wishing we were having sex or talking freely about sex. And I'm tired of pretending that withholding the information is a good thing. There's just too many things that can go wrong when you don't have that information. <sighs> too many things we can be persuaded to try without really knowing what we're getting ourselves into. For example, <clears throat> the butt. <clears throat> it's made a recent resurgence in sexual revolution. And if that's something you're going to try, research it. Know what you're doing because things can go south real fast. And I don't just mean South. I mean South. Research any move. Any move you see in porn, look it up. They are performers, they are not instructors. But we still learn from what we see. Talk to your partners. And if you're with a partner who doesn't want to try what you're interested in, don't resent them. You'll find the right person and you should look for them. Because sexual satisfaction or lack thereof can be a huge wedge in a relationship. You'll find that right person. You'll have open communication with them. Right now we live in a world of angry sex resenters and sex pretenders splashed full of sex offenders. So thank God for the artists and the lovers of the world, because we are the balance. We demand that it be seen and that it be talked about. Just imagine how changed the world would be if sex wasn't a taboo subject. People could be sexually satisfied by expressing what they wanted. More people could feel sexually liberated. Dare I even say, we could have an influx of the sexually talented. <laughs> a world where sex is celebrated and pleasure is celebrated. Yes, that is where I want to live. <laughs>